Okay guys, things are getting really exciting now for Arc 2 as we're getting more and more information by the day. Obviously, the one thing we are all waiting for is that release date. That is the biggest thing. I know I've mentioned in many videos that I expected to definitely have a release date by now. We're coming closer to April 2022 and Arc 2 is meant to be coming out in 2022. Do I think that's still going to happen? I don't think so. I think it's going to be early 2023, but we still can hope. Now recently, I think it was like a day or two ago, there was a very interesting event. I'm not too sure what this is. It says like hashtag GDC 2022, but ARK were there with the team and obviously a new screenshot for ARK 2 as well uh, on behind. And at, obviously what they were saying is we are hiring, working on our next exciting game. Come and see us. And then obviously the aisle they were on. So we're going to be having a look at this screenshot and then we're going to be talking a little bit about Arc 2 for the future. So if you guys are excited for this, leave a like. Let's see if we can just smash. I'm not even going to say a like target like I normally do. Let's just try and go for something absolutely crazy on today's video that really supports me. Make sure to be subscribed if you don't want to miss out on all of your daily art content and let's get on with the video. So obviously Wildcard are hiring, the team is getting bigger and bigger and bigger working on this new game coming out. Obviously I know a lot of people are worrying saying you know what's going to happen to Arc 1 after Arc 2 comes out but they, Wildcard have constantly said that they are not going to just drop it, they're still going to be focusing on making sure the servers are running fine, sorting bugs out and everything like that. There won't be any more like content after Fjord. I mean, there might be like some extra stuff before Arc 2, but when it does come out, there won't be any like new, new content, but they will still keep the game fresh and servers running. But let's have a little look now at this new screenshot of the Arc 2 event. Now, I don't even know what event this was because uh, it's a bit more of a like hidden one. I haven't really heard about it before. I think it's maybe more of a developer thing, um, which is where where maybe this is where they set up and that's why they said we are hiring come and check us out because they need as many people working on this uh, this game as possible this game is going to be massive and look at this screenshot right here of Vin Diesel I think that's definitely Vin Diesel I'm sure it is standing in front of the new Rex coming in Arc 2 holding one of the new like primitive spears um, that are going to be coming in Arc 2 obviously we've got like the skin version of it in Arc 1 right now a really cool Vin Diesel poster here and by the looks of things on the screen this is still arc one loads of people were going ferox confirmed in arc two but no it's definitely i cannot see that being in arc two as they said it's going to be a lot more primitive um but yeah no there still could be some sort of futuristic and fake creatures in arc two um and because you know a lot of people say oh but arc's a dinosaur game and wildcard always responds saying arc was never set out just to be a dinosaur game even though it seemed that way it is a survival game with dinosaurs in it that is li literally recently what Cedric, the lead community manager, did say on Twitter. What we have been finding out as well from the devs recently is that obviously the Genesis ship um, is obviously, uh, you know, is like involved with this whole moving into Arc 2. So some of the creatures may still find their way in the second game. If you haven't checked out my last video on Arc 2, I recommend you do that because there was some really interesting stuff on the dinos and what we can expect. And they, they were doing a little bit of a suggestion thing. What dinos do you want to see in Arc? 2 from the first game and what dinos do you not want to see in arc 2 and one of the things i said straight away is i do not want the trudon in arc 2 i do not want micro raptor i do not want the pego I, I was saying all this stuff and i know there was loads of people who, like have different opinions and stuff but that was mainly what i was saying because they're just so annoying so as you can see on Twitter, this was a little bit of information about the Maywing. It wasn't really anything that exciting, but uh, Craig Brown said, I am neither confirming nor denying the Maywing for Arc 2, but I am saying that they exist on the Gen ship, which means they exist in the universe, so it's not impossible, which is very interesting. Then this person replied saying, I was going to say this, everything on the Eden Ring exists in the universe, so Striders too. Although, since they were powered via Bluetooth element, like the tech suits were, they're probably just hunks of unpowered scrap like, like metal now. And someone went off see to reply saying, so free early game metal? And Craig Brown replied with the eye emojis, which 
could that mean could that mean for arc 2 that early game metal is going to be more of that sort of uh you know movement of how the game's going to go i'm not too sure because you know it's meant to be as wild kind of mentioned so many times it's meant to be locked like just a, pr a primitive game i don't think it's going to be primitive forever i feel like somewhere down the storyline there has been hints that wild kind of teased us with that it might not be like that forever but that's definitely the sort of stage they're starting with definitely that primitive side of things and also something quite funny from this response as well was about the uh, you know about the striders potentially being in the game again as well craig brown just came back to say i am going out my way to answer that i'm not answering this think of that as you will so they are still trying to keep things as quiet as possible at the moment they're allowed i'm sure right now what's going on is they're looking for feedback uh you know the team aren't allowed they're on strict strict orders to keep things quiet but then obviously the team are going to be saying to them go out on social medias and stuff as the community managers or you know whatever role you are in wildcard get some information see what the community want so you can kind of lead that back to the team and then they can decide what they're going to be adding in and what they're not going to be adding in the only thing that does worry me is the fact that you know we're still debating about what dinos we want to see in arc 2 and what we don't and it's 2022 it's nearly april like what is going on but i suppose you know i'm sure like the core game of things is complete um I'm, I'm, obviously when i say complete i don't think the whole game's done I, they've still got a lot of time to work on it but i'm sure it is close so as well as this event arc 2 is going to be at many events this year i am very sure about it i did mention in a video recently that um not uh what was the uh, i literally just uh, e3 sorry e3 2022 is in june um and then arc's new map comes out in june as well the final free map for arc one um and they like to do double drops on us they like to give us a map information on arc 2 that's the way arc work it's very quiet for a long time and then all of a sudden they just hit us with so much information all at once and it is always a really fun day being in the arc community so look out for all the different events that happen this year because you never know studio wildcard may be making an appearance there as i mentioned e3 in june you'd hope for some form of information there and then there's an extra life event um which they do every year you guys would have seen i'd always stream that event um to raise money and when they hit certain targets for a great charity they give us information and then obviously the game awards where for, uh, arc 2 was first announced with the animated series is also really really awesome too so one other thing a lot of people have been asking questions on is where is the animated series i don't think wildcard are going to mention anything about the animated series until they really mention it about arc 2 um if you didn't know it's a completely different team like literally wildcard's team has grown so much i uploaded the the interview and um, parts of the interview that happened recently with someone at wildcard that said our team is getting so big now that they've got people working on movie and film um they've got people working on the game they've got people working on live ops everything to do with different dlcs it's crazy to see how this game has grown so fast over a short amount of time i know it's been six years but you've got to remember when they first released arc they were a very small company and they're now battling it against the biggest companies in the world to be the biggest game and to be honest when arc 2 comes out it's gonna be the top played game on steam it's gonna be one of the top played games on console as well so they really know that they have to have a good launch because you see what happened that atlas game that came out it just was not anything i remember i spawned in on atlas for the first time and i was stuck inside loads of different animals i had no idea where i was it's a very very poor launch but i do have huge faith in arc 2 to be successful while kind of told us millions of times they've learned so much from the first game so they've just got to go through and improve this game with unreal engine 5 now coming towards the animated series obviously we've seen this post this was the first ever post with arc 2 announcing it and you forget a lot of the stuff from the beginning that's really talked about you know like in the sense of arc 2 thrust players into a new brutal world of primitive survival against both beast and man and a lot of people are still wondering when you they say beast and man is that going to mean more npcs in the game in the trailer we've already seen those sort of like creature type people that have like the bone armor on so that again is going to be a new threat facing down the ever-present threats of hyper realistic intelligent dinosaurs aggressive alien fauna and the exotic environments of an unearthly planet survivals will continue arc's dramatic story um, of humankind's evolution in this next generation sandbox survival experience and obviously you guys i'm sure would 
would have seen the trailer and maybe the soundtrack as well, which is on YouTube. And the ARC 2 main theme does sound awesome. So coming along to the animated series, Studio Wildcard has partnered with Jay Olivia from Batman The Dark Knight Returns. I obviously I've read this through, but some, sometimes people forget about like how long this series actually is. Created and, ex and um, created and executive produced by the game creators Jeremy and Jesse, and associate produced by the game's project managers Jat. Um, Jat obviously has been in the community for so long. Big shout out to Jat. You know, just really, he seems like a really cool guy. Um, and the animated series is currently composed of 14 30 minute episodes and has two seasons currently in production in an anticipation of a 2022 launch. Now, obviously, within the ARC 2 release date, the reason we found out that that's meant to be 2022 is that came from the Xbox post. Whereas this animated series release date literally came from wildcard themselves on their own website now anticipation of a launch in 2022 means there could be a delay with this as well i really i know i have seen in interviews saying that they've done lots of the series already and i'm sure the whole first season's done i'm not too sure if the whole thing's done now i don't know because they haven't mentioned any on any, anything on it but i really hope we hear some news on this soon You've seen the amazing lineup on, you know, on this, like from Gerald Butler to uh, Madeline Madden to David Tennant, Raga Ragnars, so many amazing people involved in this. Obviously, Vin Diesel himself, Russell Crowe. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And just, you know, just having Vin Diesel as in studio wildcard, you know, as the president of Creative Convergence and an executive producer on Arc 2 and the animated series, you just know he's not going to let this be a failure. Now, you know, we have, um, I, obviously, some of the team have talked, they've been talking to Vin Diesel a lot recently, and that means things are really starting to heat up now. And let's hope within the next few months, I do think E3 will be the probably first proper time we hear anything. So we've still got to wait a couple of months before anything starts to really get exciting. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's video and the new interesting screenshot from Arc 2 and the event. Let's hope we start getting more and more little pieces of arc news from the feedback here because that's all we want at the moment we want this second game so badly and just some extra news on it leave a like guys subscribe and i'll catch you guys in my next video very soon